Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, several weeks ago, probably a month ago, maybe, um, I posted the video of me doing this painting, and this is the chameleon cell technique. And I had a subscriber comment and ask if I could show how I would prepare this for varnish. And um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And um, I will say that this is not an original idea of mine. When I started paint pouring, I just went on on YouTube and watched a whole bunch of creators' videos on how they would do theirs. And this just kind of seemed like the method that was consistent among many creators. So, um, yeah, I just want to put that out there that I didn't think this up. But there's two um, things I use for preparing my pieces for varnish and the first is cornstarch um, some people use baby powder some people use baking soda I think any kind of powder that will absorb the silicone will work um, this is just what I've used and I've had success with so if you know of something that's used that's different you know it doesn't mean it's right or wrong it's just different the second thing I use is isopropyl alcohol it needs to be between 90 and 100 percent is what I've consistently saw across other creators to um, channels as well so <clears throat> whenever I start I just pour some cornstarch on my, on my painting and the first time I did this I kind of panicked like am I ruining my painting it's just gonna I'm just gonna have to throw this in the trash but I've never ruined a painting doing this and always had success doing this method so you can see I'm taking my fingertips and I'm really really rubbing <clears throat> and the reason is every time one of these cells is created it's like a drip of silicone is being placed onto the paint and whenever you do a normal um, pour painting and you add silicone you might add one or two drops of silicone to I don't know nine ounces of paint and it's a negligible amount you could put this cornstarch over it one or two times and easily lift it up but when you use this technique you've just got like a saturation of silicone in each little cell and it kind of pulls the, there and when it puddles pulls it pushes the paint away and that's what creates the chameleon cell technique um, which is a, a great effect but it's a lot of silicone so you really have to get in there rub that powder in and get it to lift the silicone out so between each um, dusting of cornstarch I just go in with a dry paper towel <clears throat> and rub off any excess and then I go in with a you know like a fresh dust in a cornstarch and I know it might seem wasteful but the cornstarch is literally absorbing the oil so you kind of need some fresh cornstarch so it can absorb more oil um, and you you just take your fingertips and just really work it in. You're not going to ruin your painting doing this. Um, I've done it many, many times. So, <clears throat> this is the gist of lifting the silicone off of the canvas. And in some spots you might have to work a little harder. I think there's a spot to the right uh, on the edge that just kind of got heavy with silicone for whatever reason and I really had to like work it in 
and because I could rub my fingers over you can this is why I don't use gloves when I'm doing this is because you can feel the silicone on your fingertips and you can feel the um, cornstarch the texture of it changes once it absorbs the silicone so you can feel <laughs> yeah right there I'm really I'm like come off come off but um you can feel you can feel the texture of the cornstarch change and that's just kind of indication like okay I need some fresh cornstarch and so you want to do this as many times um as necessary until that that it's almost like um it becomes slick and that means it's still absorbing cornstarch so i do as many um i don't know dusting sprinkles i think this is my third one i do as many as necessary um until that that slickness doesn't occur um and you can see it's it's not shiny anymore and that means the silicone has been lifted off um yeah so <clears throat> the um next thing i do is just take a dry paper towel and i just get all the residue off from the cornstarch and i'm going to take the canvas off of this um off this puppy pad so that I, I don't have to worry about it getting back on there so I'll be right back okay so we're back I've cleaned up my work area and I'm just double checking my painting to make sure I've gotten all of that cornstarch off it's not going to be the end of the world if you have a little bit on it and you start cleaning it with that alcohol but it just it it's just easier if you get as much off as you can before putting any kind of moisture on it so <clears throat> once i've got it as clean as i can um of the cornstarch i'm just doing a double check to make sure that I don't have any more silicone on here because the silicone will repel your varnish and that's how you get those little divots in your varnish um, and we don't want that so I'm just really being <laughs> yeah I'm tilting it back and forth because if the silicone is there you, you'll be able to see it um, so I'm just really filling with my fingers just making sure so once you're happy with um and obviously i'm not happy because i'm going back in but once you're you're happy with um you know the silicone being removed um then you're gonna go in and i just take a, a dry paper towel and I put the alcohol on the paper towel. Don't squirt the alcohol in your painting. You will ruin it. You don't need a lot of alcohol either. Just, I mean, just put a little bit. You can see I don't put a lot. And I just kind of like squish it together to distribute it. Don't rub hard. You don't have to rub hard. All your silicone is lifted at this point. All I'm doing is removing the residue that could be left over from the cornstarch. And you'll see, I do have a little bit of lift off from the paint, but it's not a lot. It doesn't change the, you know, the painting at all. Um, and I'll show you. See, I, I mean, I do have some, but it's not significant. Um, and you want to kind of just like very lightly stroke like you're petting a cat <laughs> um but that's what i do and um that's this step is just to ensure that 
there's no contamination on the canvas before I go in with a varnish. Now, I'm not going to put a varnish on this um, now because when I recorded this, it was like 9 o'clock at night and um, I didn't want any little flying bugs to get in my varnish or whatever. Plus, varnish is preference. I like to use a spray varnish. Um, some people like to brush a varnish on. But at this point, um, the painting should be prepared for any varnish that you choose. Um, the alcohol dries pretty quickly. Um, I usually let it sit for about 10 minutes just because um, I'm anal about these things. But yeah, it dries really quick. Try not to touch it while it's got the alcohol in it because it does make it a little bit sticky, but that'll dry down. There won't be any trouble. So anyway, I hope this helped someone. Um, I hope I explained it well enough. And I hope you all have a good day. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.